All right, um, so Marazi Breakdown. Now, Marazi is an interior designing company, mostly deals with the ceramic and the tiles. This is the site. And uh, my reference is in the living room slot where you can find tons of other references along with the one that I made. This is the reference. And uh, this is the render. Render. Reference. Reference. Render. Now there is lots of dissimilarities. All I've tried here is to get the right ambient, the look and feel. There is lots of the references as well. Um, for example, kitchen, bathroom. If you want to make any or want any references, you can you can find it here. And that's it for the, this this side. Uh, let's jump on to the breakdown. Now this will not be an in-depth uh, tutorial, but will only cover the process that I go through. The very first thing that I do is perspective match matching your camera according to your reference to do that you have to import the reference in the background hold alt and tab b now uh, select the reference and click ok now to fit the image in the background you have to match the render output dimension to the reference dimension that means um, render uh, get a render setup and see there is width and height you have to match it with the uh, width and height of the image so here it, it is 1600 into 1060 so put this number uh, here 1600 uh, and double check it yeah so uh, yes and don't forget to log the S image aspect ratio and pixel aspect ratio in case if you want to do uh, want to do um, increase dimension you can do that um, okay so perspective match I'm going to give you a very basic knowledge. Blue lines are z-axis, whereas green and uh, red lines are y and x-axis, respectively. Now I'm matching. I'm, I will try to match these imaginary lines with the lines in the in the reference. Uh, yeah, red or x-axis. So anything that goes from left to right, I'm going to match it with the red ones. Match it with the walls if you have walls. If you don't have walls, match it with the props. Um, and vertical lines with anything that is vertical in the reference match it with the blue and anything forward to backward match it with the green i'm going i'm going really rough with this but there's lots of tut tutorials on youtube you, know, you can go and watch it it's very easy so once you're done with your uh, matching stuff uh control c to put the camera uh and um, once you're happy with your camera uh, create the box and this box will work as the walls you can manipulate it and um, model all your props inside it and place it in the order the way uh, reference demanded so i'm not going to model everything i have already modeled it remember modeling is your first stage and very important stage so do spend time on it while modeling your props make sure that they have model in exact height and shape should not look miniature or uh, out of proportion it is important because Vira is physical based render engine the size of the object do affect your lighting and also I've replaced the uh, default camera with the Vira uh, you can replace it too there I have the default camera now go into perspective view and um, in the standard to V-Ray click and drag physical camera make sure the V-Ray camera is selected and go into the view and control C it to bring the uh, V-Ray camera and that is kind of locking the V-Ray camera to the view so that is how you can uh, replace it with the default one now I have textured everything already so all I'm going to do is uh, call the textures I'm going to just give it a path um, and uh, it's, it's in the uh, archive see textures Now what I do is uh, I don't make anything perfect. I use lots of uh, maps while I'm creating the texture for anything. I mean I do not make anything super super glossy or super super clean. Um, for example in the uh, reflection and glossiness slot I use maps. So 
I don't know. I mean, you can play with other other things as well. So once you're done with the texturing things, uh, the third thing, which is very important, is lighting. Now I have used only two lighting here, two lights here actually, <laughs> lighting, <laughs> two lights. First is daylight, and second is dome. Uh, in the dome, I've used a HDRI. And uh, for the SGRIs, don't compromise. I mean, use high resolution images. Uh, this. I have a site for you guys, which I will tell you in the end of this video. Not now. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the dome. I'm going to tell you a little bit of settings that I use in for the doms and daylights. In the daylight, I have used uh, V-Ray Sun instead of Mental Ray Sun. And the skylight manual, you want to give direction, you can give. The size multiplier controls the hardness of the shadows. Uh, the more it is, the less hard the shadows will be. I have used uh, uh, override instead of filter. What filter does is that uh, it manipulates the lighting intensity once you change the angle of your uh, light source. Now the uh, render setup. Well, I don't do fancy here, anything. I mean, I keep everything simple. Assign the V ray render engine. By default, it is progressive, but I take adaptive. Filter is area. There's lots of other, Michelle and Getmel. But I will go with area. Oops, sorry, area. Uh, adaptive and global DMC are both for noise cancellation uh, options. Color mapping, uh, this is one of the coolest things that I came across. Um, in the type, I, I keep uh, exponential. And in the dark multiply slot, when you increase the number, you get less darker area. But when you increase this uh, number in the bright multiply, you get more a uh, bright spot in the scene so yes you can play with it uh, here I take a irradiance with light cache current preset high uh, and light cache this is the setting this is the number I take I don't touch anything here I mean I don't even touch one I don't want to this is the, these are the um, um, passes that I I choose most of the time in extra texture I take video dirt and these are the settings in Vrator that I do. Radius keeps on changing according to your scene. Uh, subdivision, I take 128. Make sure double sided is checked on. Uh, these affect the, um, I mean, MBD is for darker gray scale. So you can get the darker shadows if you want by increasing, decreasing. And rest. Press, you can choose any other passes if you want. You can done with this thing so let's just render I mean I've already rendered the passes for you guys there you have this is the beauty pass this is the diffuse this is the uh, ambient reflection refraction and uh, render ID specular and Z depth <laughs> and of course the alpha <laughs> let's just comp it uh, i've already the psg so what i'm going to do is i'm going to break down the thing that i've done for you um all the adjustment layers this is the comped one i mean the final version <laughs> and uh, this uh, it's very it's very slow sorry for that my pc is very slow so you can see the changes and these are the layers uh, and uh, the passes so I'm going to just break it for you how I merge them let me just off all these layers so beneath is the beauty pass I didn't use ambient because it was making more darker area so I didn't use it Reflection, I blend it with the screen with different opacities, reflect, refraction and specular both with the screens, all three actually with the screens, but different values. 
and once I'm done with this I have uh, masked it using the render ID pass and then level it and then change it with the hue and search see the difference okay now there is another thing that I do is I play with the selective color uh, which I didn't like it actually so I didn't use it uh, but I do uh, I mean I do play with it it's really cool selective layer adjustment and yeah that's it that's all I did final and raw this is the final thank you bye bye no wait the sides i promise okay the first one is um texture cg where you can download 15 images every day once you log in login is free just like facebook but more useful for higher resolution you have to pay for me one good res resolution is enough if you want higher you can pay it. the other side is video material now for all those lazy ducks out there who doesn't want to spend time on creating materials they can download it from here but I also want to tell you that do not just download them and understand what option does what it is really important for your own growth third one is sgri skies where you can get sgri images again there is also a procedure to download them and the last one is sketchpad at the red tree now this is a youtube channel nothing to do with the 3d but for all those who are interested in sketching we are about to upload some videos i mean tutorial videos over painting and other sketching stuff so if you are not subscribed to the channel go and hit subscribe button and there is lots of previous videos as well like comment and share I have given the all the links below.